We are inching closer and closer to the fourth anniversary of Dragon Ball Legends. And with that comes a lot of extra content and updates uh, right before then. So we're going to be going over all of that stuff today. Uh, we got a big feedback update as well as the Zenkai Awakening for the Great Sandman 1 and 2, um, which is kind of out there. It's a little out there for a Zenkai Awakening update. Just due to the fact that I think those guys came out... Was it, was it just after second anniversary, or was it the beginning? Was it right before uh, third? It was one of those two. But we're going to go over the updates and stuff. If you enjoy the Legends content, please be sure to like and subscribe. Let me know down in the comments what you think overall uh, about the update. And uh, let's just kind of jump into it. So let's go over the feedback update of 2022. Thank you for the continued support of Legends. We will be implementing various quality of life updates over the next two weeks based on your feedback. Uh, so in terms of this week, this is what is this is what we're getting. So matchmaking has been adjusted to make battles more enjoyable for everyone. In raiding matches and training battles, you'll be now be matched with opponents who are closer to your skill level. Uh, the battle ranks required for each season in raiding matches have been adjusted. Season ranks are now easier to understand with silver starting at battle rank 20, gold starting at battle rank 40, and so on. So, okay, so bronze, right. Silver was 21 to 40, now it's 20 to 39. And then gold is 41, to, was 41 to 50, now it's 40 to 49. Uh, so they basically just made the bronze and silver like a bit bigger of... Uh, of rankings. They, they, they made the pool a lot bigger. Yeah. Yeah, because they didn't really adjust much here. They just kind of... They bumped, like, silver down by 10, it looks like. Yeah, uh, yeah, more or less, more or less. Um... And then the battle rank required to reach godly has not been changed. So that has not been adjusted. Tournament of power equipment added. Rare gold. Ew, go, there we go. Gold rarity tournament of power equipment has been added to the rare metal exchange. Take on the tournament of power with this new equipment. If I'm being honest, I have never once used equipment in tournament of power. I probably should. But I'm, uh, I honestly am not all that <laughs> concerned with equipment in TOP. Training items can now be exchanged for Zenny at the Recycling Center. Thank you, because I've been sitting on... I have every character leveled up and maxed out. So for me, I would love to be able to, you know, trade in pizzas and stuff, since I'm not, I don't use pizzas. Um, slot removers have been added with great, uh, to the Great Dual Coin Exchange lineup. Okay. So you get three erasers for one, one of these. Or is it three of these for one of these? It's three of these for one of these. Okay. Uh, they also added equipment medals. 500. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad. If you're not constantly uh, pulling equipment medals. Well, I mean, 500, though, is quite pricey. But So that's all for this week. Uh, next week, uh, they will be changing the amount of souls and zenny to boost your characters. Uh, the amount of Zenny that gold bars can be exchanged for at the... It'll be increased, which will be good. Uh, exchange rate of certain souls can be traded for the soul exchange medals will be increased. Um, the ticket lineup is getting Gogeta and Full Power Broly. Um, honestly, they need to make those tickets more accessible because now that they put the pity coin system in, it's not every day... It's not it's not every ba every step up banner that you are even able to pull for the like use those coins for the tickets. So I I feel like this needs a lot of updating personally, but that's just me. Uh updates to the Legends Welcome Summoning lineup. Uh the lineups for the Legends Welcome Summon and the Legends Welcome Sparking Rarity guaranteed ticket will be updated. Um I guess we'll have to see who they add in that, but um Overall, relatively mid updates. I mean, quality of life stuff is always ha uh, handy and useful, but um, it's not. It's nothing crazy. Uh, hopefully, this makes PvP a bit better, but we'll see. 
Next we got Great Sandman 1 and 2. Um, oh, I just noticed that you could see Gohan's eyes underneath those glasses. <laughs> That's a little absurd, a little disturbing. Um, so, yeah, this, these guys were kind of out of left field. I wasn't really expecting them to get a Zenkai Awakening, but I guess what they're trying to do, I think what the devs are trying to do is they are trying to... Um, they're trying to release red units to counter, to help support different teams, uh, to counter Kaioken Goku. And that's fair. It's just a little off-putting and supporting. I don't know. We'll have to see. These guys are a support type. And, uh, they were decent when they came out initially, but, uh, they were kind of lacking in, they were kind of lacking in the defense department. Um, if I recall correctly, it's been a while since I used them, but we'll see here. So, base stats at max stars. Actually, defenses look pretty high. I'm actually kind of surprised their stats are that high. <laughs> maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe, maybe, maybe I'm misconstruing it with a different character or something. But uh, 14 stars, base, char base stats, 2.75 health, 276 strike attack with 255 blast, and then 187, 183 defenses. It's not bad. We switch to the Zenkai. Yeah, it's about to be expected. So the stats didn't really change all that much. I kind of figured because 277 strike attacks pretty good. One, almost 190 defense stats is actually very good. Um, so that just makes sense. All right. So Bonds of Justice. Before Zenkai Awakening, you would draw the Justice Tempest ability. You would store your own key by 40. 30% of damage inflicted for 15 counts. 30% to ultimate damage inflicted for 15 counts. And that was 25 seconds. So all they did was restore key by 10 more. So instead of 40 key, it's 50 key. Which is good. Which is good. 50 key is quite a lot. So um, that's a very good... That's not, that, I mean, I didn't think they'd really do much with this. So that, makes, that kind of fits. It makes sense. Peace, love, and spirit. 40% of the damage inflicted for 15 counts when he enter, when this character enters the battlefield. And then when it switched to standby, you restore help by 10 three times. Uh, restores key by 30, and then 20% damage inflicted to 25 timer counts. That did not change. Actually, it did. You get 50% here instead of, instead of 40. So that's also good. An extra 10% is actually pretty good there. Uh, and then Transformation Suit EX. Uh, Applies the following effects to self when the battle starts. Reduce damage received by 50% for 30 counts. 50% to key recovery. And then nullify attribute downgrade six times. Nullify uh, abnormal condition three times. That has changed. Oh, wow. Okay. So what changed here is it went from 50% key recovery to 80% key recovery. That's fantastic. That's actually a big jump. Um... Because I feel like in this modern in this modern meta, I feel like key recovery is like the big thing. If you if you don't have card draw speed and you're not given key on uh, and you're not given key on like green card or passively, then key recovery is like the next big thing I think that you focus on in this meta. So yeah, that's a big that's a big buff that actually could help uh, that could actually help this character quite a bit. So. We'll have to see. Well, we will have to see. All right. So Zenkai 3, Justice Will Prevail. Reduces damage received by 15% for 30 counts uh, from battle start. And then applies the following effects when they enter the battlefield. They restore key by 20 and 30% to strike damage inflicted. Uh, we're, kind of, we're kind of going back into the rhythm of uh, these free-to-play Zenkai characters. We're kind of going back into the rhythm of them being kind of th their new abilities kind of being a little lackluster, a little more to be desired. Um, I mean, this isn't bad. Extra 15% isn't bad from 30 because cause you're already getting 50 here for 30. So you're getting about 65, 65% 65 for battle start. So that's not bad. 30% to strike damage. You're restoring key by 20 on switch in, which is good. 30% um, to, so let me see. Let, we'll, we'll, go over, we'll go over stats in a second here. So 
Then Zenkai 6, when this character is defeated, okay, so we got we got uh, defeated buffs. So applies the following effects to allies when this character is defeated. Randomly draws at most four new cards when you have three or fewer cards. That's pretty good. Basically restocks your hand. Um, 20% of damage inflicted can't be canceled to allies, and then 50% to key recovery. That's not bad, honestly. Key recovery to your team, damage increase to your team, and then you get a whole new hand, essentially, upon death. If you have no cards in your hand. <laughs> uh, that's not a bad ability. This one's actually pretty good. Um, so let's go over numbers. Let's go over numbers here. So, so you get 30% to damage inflicted for 15 counts. 30% to damage inflicted for 15 counts. So let's just start standard damage. Assuming that we do not get the ultimate off. So it's 30%. Then you go down here to 50 upon on switch in. And then when... Yeah, 30% to switch in. Uh... So that's 80. Then you get 30 here. So 110. Okay. And then, yeah, that's not bad. So 110. And then if you apply that to your ultimate, that's 140. So not to create, I mean, again, it's a support character. So you're not, you're not expecting this character to really, you know, go out there and mow the field down. But that's not that it's <laughs> 140 is actually not bad. The extra damage buffs will help here. The key the the support that you're going to be getting is going to matter more than anything. This I mean these guys were already a very decent support unit when they released. I think this uh now they'll be able to do a little bit more than they were able to before. Um and then the 65% damage reduction is really good, um, which is pretty good. Key on switch in is great. Um, and then, you know, this kind of stuff here will be will be beneficial for allies because they're also getting this on top of it, right? Because um, once these guys I, – I think once – I don't know if this applies when they, when they die. I don't know if they – I don't think that works that way. But you're getting ample support while they're alive, and then you get permanent support when they are dead. So, I don't know. I don't know. Losing that key restore, uh, that key restore kind of sucks. Keep it, but being able to keep that uh, twenty percent is actually not bad. So, I don't know. These, I mean, it seems uh, they seem decent. They they seem like they got ample an ample upgrade. Considering that they didn't really update their base kit that much more. So, I think they could be pretty good. I think they could be pretty good. Um, we'll, we'll just have to see, I guess, in this current meta. Um, strike doesn't change. Bless doesn't change. So, the blue card, major impact damage, seals one enemy card slot randomly on hit. The sealed card slot cannot be used for 10 counts. This has been changed to. This didn't change at all. Blue card didn't change at all. That kind of sucks. <laughs> um, and then dual justice pose. You inflict all enemies with attribute downgrade twenty percent to damage received and minus eighty to health restoration. That is now twenty, eighty, and they lower card draw speed. Okay, that's pretty detrimental. Why it's 10 counts, though? Considering how mid they went with their their extra abilities, how... <laughs> I don't want to say lackluster, but... Considering that they didn't really add much to this character, I don't see why they couldn't make this 15 or 20. And with as much card draw speed as as there is in this current meta, um, is it really is twenty seconds really going to be that impactful? If he, this is the only character doing it, I don't know. Um, I mean, again, it's 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 good that it's there. It, I'm not going to fret. I'm not going to fret and be, make a big deal about it that it's there. But I just wish that was a little bit stronger, personally. 
All right, Justice Tempest, massive impact damage. You gain attribute upgrade minus 80% to enemy sustained damage cut effects for three counts. Blast armor charging forward. So now this activates on activation. Oh, well, this always was activation. Um, and they remove endurance. They nullify endurance. Okay. Nullify endurance is pretty good. Um, I would say these guys aren't bad. And then red sagas from the movies. Okay. So who was a red sagas from the movies? So who did, who did they actually buff? Um... So they buff Bojack, they buff this Piccolo, they buff Final Form Frieza, they buff themselves, Tapion, the new Android Fusion 13. Um, are we potentially getting, thinking about it, we don't really have, we don't have a solid, um, red movie character i mean bojack's still d pretty good this piccolo's decent this frieza i mean can't take a hit but this frieza is pretty decent still are we gonna get a red movie character for third anniversary maybe maybe i don't know um so yeah that was uh yeah that was great Sandman one and two i i'd say i'd say they're okay i would say they are okay i would say they're better than like kale I'd say they're better than probably Rosé, um, but they are support, so they're not going to be doing a lot of damage. Hopefully, the damage reduction that they get uh, is going to make them pretty tough as nails, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, summon items, or summon banners. Um, this new, the death buff Goku and Zamasu are back, so if you guys missed out on them before, Zamasu is really good. Zamasu was already really was good before his Zenkai Awakening. He's really good now. So if you miss out on him, I'd say go for him. This Goku is also pretty good. Um, the death buffs on him are second to none. So I would say uh, wouldn't might, would not be a bad idea to buff him up if you missed him out on him the first time. Uh, and then story event. Uh, book four book four of the part twelve of the story is out. Uh, we are ramping down to the fourth anniversary, and it's been two years since Shallot became a god. So uh, we could potentially be seeing Blue th this season, or not this season, this anniversary. Hopefully. <laughs> Shallot needs some love. Like, for, for being the main character of their game, for the mascot of their game, it's kind of sad that he's not been getting the attention that he deserves. So I'm hoping for the anniversary we actually see some ample shallot support as well as some interesting stuff in terms of like uh, maybe customization and whatnot. We'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't think there was really much going on. I don't think there was much going on with events. I mean, these already came out. The Fighting Legends fight, the Fierce Fight Goku event came back. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, the Legends Road Piccolo event came back. Yeah, I don't think I don't think we got anything too uh, too crazy uh, returning this week. Just the uh, just the battle gauntlet. And then last but not least, we got a new Awakened equipment. Awaken, let's go number one. I think this is the only one that got released. Um, it's for Sagas and Sun Family, so right for this unit. Uh, ten percent to strike attack. 10% uh, the special move damage, 25% to strike attack, and the base key recovery is 25%. This could actually be really good to couple this with Great Sandman 1 and 2. Um, because with this key recovery, with this key recovery, you're going to have 105% key recovery. Which is crazy to think about. Um, so 105% to key recovery... 35% to base strike attack, which we already know um, you're getting about 110% with that. So that couples it to about close to 140 before uh, before the ultimate buff. 
and then the 10% of the special move damage is it's fine. Um, how does this change from the original? Oh, it changes greatly. Five, uh, extra 5% here. Um, an extra 10% here. And then strike damage here. So, good upgrade. Good Awaken upgrade. But I hate I hate the reroll system for Awaken. <laughs> I hate the reroll uh, system for Awaken equipments. So, yeah, I don't really much care. But that's going to do it for this update. Uh, a little bit of a longer one. But, uh, yeah, uh, good update. Good update. Not going to complain. Um, with that said, uh, yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> I thought I had something else I needed to say, but I didn't. So thank you guys again for watching. Like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.